Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to show you how we made this dish beef chow fun. Now, if you like what we made, please subscribe, share this video, and like the video. And there'll be other dishes uh, we're going to be making in the future, so tune into the channel. Okay, so what we want to do with the green onions, we want to cut it into about two inch long strips like so and we'll put that inside a bowl for now and then the harder thicker part we're gonna go ahead and slice it so that it gets thinner and it'll cook a little bit faster Put that together. Okay. Now, also in this dish, we're going to need about two to three cloves of garlic. And what you want to do is you want to crush it gently so it doesn't splatter everywhere and then go ahead and chop it up set that aside and you also want to use some fresh ginger. I've already peeled the ginger, and now I'm just going to slice it. Now, most people, they like to mince it like I did the garlic, but I like to have it in long strips. To me, it, it has a lot more flavor. I don't know if you can see that. My cameraman is not pointing at what I'm doing. Okay, so I like these little, you know, long strip versus trying to mince it, get more flavor from it that way. Now that take care of a garlic and a ginger, and then the noodle, like I said, it's a wide rice noodle. You can get this at um, Asian supermarkets, um, Food Town, that kind of place. But you don't have to use this particular kind. This kind's already soft. You can buy the one that comes dried. And the one that comes dried, you can uh, soak it in water overnight, the night before, and then it'll be soft, ready to use. So with this, it's long, so we're going to cut it down because it's too long. Just cut that in about three sections. And we're going to separate this so that it will be easy to mix all the flavor into it. Otherwise, it'll be like one giant clump. Okay, so now, as we stated, this is going to be a beef chow fun dish, so obviously we're gonna use beef to make uh, the dish. Now you can actually use any kind of protein you want. You can use shrimp, pork, chicken, it doesn't matter. It's all the same way. But uh, I like to use beef in this dish. And I'm gonna show you how we prepare the meat and we marinate it before we cook it. So you just, I like to cut it into little strips. And I like meat that has some fat into it. Now, of course, you want to take out if it's a lot of fat. But I try to find tender meat, and I try to find meat that has a lot of fat. It's just more flavor. If you are on a diet, you probably 
not going to really subscribe to my channel because a lot of food that I cook has a lot of flavor. And if they have a lot of flavor, they got a lot of fat. Those of you who don't know me, about 20 years ago, I had a, an Asian restaurant, Japanese Thai sushi bar, and um, stopped doing that about 20 years ago. So that's where my background comes from in cooking. So in the future, I'll be doing a lot of different dishes. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that uh, you'll get noticed when I have a new video out. Now, to marinate this meat, a very important ingredient is baking soda. A lot of people don't realize that, but baking soda actually will tenderize the meat, okay? Now with that baking soda in there, we're gonna put a little bit of wine Just a touch. And you can put any type of cooking wine. It, it's not gonna hurt it. All right, and we'll dissolve that baking soda in there. And then also, we're gonna put a whole egg in there. Now, people who make this dish, they use just the egg whites. But I don't wanna waste the egg yolk, so I'm just gonna put the whole thing in there. It's not gonna hurt it. Okay, and then Inside there, we're going to put a little bit of white pepper because this is actually a Chinese dish and Chinese likes to use white pepper in their cooking. So that's what we'll do. Put some in there. Okay, and then a little bit of salt. Very simple. Put that in there. Mix it up. Oh yeah, one other very important ingredient you want to put in is some vegetable oil and that also will help the meat tenderize do not substitute the vegetable oil for olive oil in asian cuisine vegetable oil is king olive oil has flavoring and it's going to change the taste of uh, your food while you're cooking now you can use corn oil Okay, put all that in there. Mix it around really good so that it get covered very well. Okay, and the final ingredient in this marinade is some cornstarch. Depending on how much meat you got here, how much you want to put in. And then once again, you want to mix that in really well. Maybe a hair more. In case you're wondering, I got about just over a pound of meat. And this will probably make three to four dish. dish. Of course, if you wanted to make smaller, just portion it down. Or same thing if you want to make a little bit more. But this should probably feed between three to four people. One other ingredient we need is um, some onion. So we're gonna go ahead and just chop that up. And I'm probably not gonna need the whole thing. So I'm gonna take about half of that. Get that in there. All right, so now we're gonna start cooking. So we have all our 
ingredients over here. Um, as you can see, we got the marinated meat. We got the noodle, the wide rice noodle. We got some onions, some bean sprout, and uh, the green onion. We got some garlic and ginger. And for the sauce, we're gonna use some oyster sauce, some thin soy sauce. If you don't have thin soy sauce, a regular soy sauce will do. And uh, some salt, white pepper, a little bit of sugar, and some sesame oil and cooking wine. So first thing we want to do is get the wok as hot as we can get it. If you don't have a wok, you obviously can cook out of a pan. So we want the wok very hot. Put a good amount of oil in there. Okay. And of course you want to everything so that nothing sticks. Now you want to wait till smoke starts coming out of the wok. That's kind of important because that will cook the meat really fast and it will sear the juice inside the meat. Okay, if you can see the smoke start coming out of the wok, that means it's hot enough. We can start putting, in a, putting it in and just be careful not to splash yourself. Put it in there. And then you want to kind of like put it out a little bit and just let it sit for a little bit because you don't want to move too much. Anytime you cook on, on high heat, especially beef, you don't want to move that meat as much as off as possible not to because the juice will come out. The more you move it, the more the flavor is, is co comes out of the meat. You don't need to cook the meat 100% because it will be too dry. Three quarters of the way is good enough because it's going to cook continue when you add the other ingredients. So now what we want to do is remove the meat and put it into some kind of strainer so that you can remove all that extra oil. We want to get it real hot, so we're going to let it get to the point that it's smoky again before we add our next ingredient. Now we're going to need to add just a hair more oil because the, um, the noodle will get sticky in there if you don't have enough oil. Okay. So you can see smoke starting to come back out. So now we're going to add our garlic. And our ginger. Mix that around a little bit. And you don't want to cook it where it's done. You want to cook it about three quarters of the way. So you still have a little bit of texture. So it's not mushy. Okay, now that's almost done. So now we're going to add a green onion. A bean sprout. Give that a really quick mix because we want the oil to coat everything. And then now we add a noodle. Now once you add your noodle, you gotta start adding your ingredients. So, I'm going to put in oyster sauce. 
I'm going to put in dark soy sauce. Set around really good. That's a real nice color right there. You go ahead and put the meat back in there. Okay. Now we're going to add some white pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and the cooking one. that a minute and at the end we're going to go and add the sesame oil. You don't want to put the sesame oil in too early because then it'll lose its flavoring. Now of course you want to cook this so the noodle gets soft and if you can't tell the best way to do is just to test it. Take a fork, go ahead and cut it, go ahead and taste the flavor. For me, it needs a little bit more soy sauce, so we're going to add a little bit more soy sauce. Touch of sesame oil to finish it off. Mix it in there. And we'll plate it. That's beef chow fun. I'm gonna have my daughter, Enna, she's 16, do a taste test. It's good. There you go. If teenagers like it, then you know it's pretty good. So if you like this video, please subscribe, share the video, give it a thumb up, 